Hello, I'm Gerda and this is Lampo Photo Studio and we do some stuff here. So this is our first zone and we made it mostly for product photography and videography and portraits. And here we have some minimal stuff, for example, like some building blocks because they are really nice to use for like as a prop. And we have some curtains, old chairs and we can a little bit change this plot. And usually we don't use just one setting, we usually change everything, bring other stuff and invite people to enjoy this place. So this is really old building and when we came here it was a mess. We had the Soviet offices here and we had to remove all the ceiling, all the floor and everything. And as you can see there are pipes and weird lamps on the top and we had to think what we can make from, make from it. And we decided just to split it in zones and we hang some backdrops, we built the wall to reflect the light and we made some different backgrounds so we can create a different mood. And this was our first zone and next we will see another one. So in the studio we have some props and my favorite are chairs actually. So we have bar chairs, we have uh, something soft like this. We usually shop in antique shops or in something uh, trendy like Zara or H&M. And I like to change it time from time. And usually once uh, half a year, we switch everything around. And once a year we have Christmas settings. So we bring a lot of Christmas trees and decorations and props. So it's not so minimalistic. And now, as you can see, it's just white and white. And I love monochrome colors. So usually it's like this. had here a quick setting of some natural soy wax candles and as they are so natural we just use plain monochrome uh, props and this is like a block from building and this is some pieces actually these pieces are really interesting because they just fell off the ceiling in our corridor because it's really, really old building and everything is broken here. So I just collected them and then I called the owner and said, oh, something is broken here. So at first I stole some. So we have here these and for lighter feeling, I use some dried plants and they are stabilized. So before it was green and this is from my flower girl. Sometimes we cooperate with some other people, for example, flower people or ceramic, as I said, or some, you know, some different creators. So let's go to see some props, which I use for product photography. And as you can see, I have big shelves for a lot of different stuff. I try to keep it monochrome as well, because when it's neutral, it usually fits with everything. So I have some dry plants and vases and a lot of small stuff because usually I take pictures of small products and most of them are handmade, which I love. And this is like uh, different brand ceramics and some are from stone mass, some are just from ceramics and some are wooden pieces and everything is made by local creators. So I really enjoy them. Also, there is some cheaper stuff, which is from H&M or something. As a props, I really love and adore stones, uh, which is maybe sound weird. This is uh, black marble. And I have some other. This, for example, is brought from Austria mountains. I was climbing up and I had to take it. This is from Croatia. 
and this is from Norway and I have some stones from USA, from all around the Europe and I actually use them not just uh, for some exact setting but also I use them for table setting or uh, Christmas, you know, in the middle which maybe sounds weird but I really love it because I love natural stuff so I have few plates and I really like them because they have some small pieces of art and uh, this is from one girl who makes ceramics and she uses plant uh, motifs and also my second favorite is these black and light tableware and vases and everything and they are based in our capital and they make everything not from uh, clay but from stone mass which is kind of stronger and you can drop it and it won't broke easily so let's go next to our second studio unlock your unique personal style and save thousands with our make backdrop masterclass 2.0 get instant access to 12 hours of content guiding you step by step in creating hand painted backdrops learn how to craft textures use backgrounds and create props like apple boxes and portable studio walls choose from a wide variety of textures to match your vision Join Make Backdrop Masterclass 2.0 now to access diverse textures, bonuses, and a supportive community. Make this year your best in photography. And at first I would like to stop at this huge mirror, which was made by my father. And I just asked him to make something like from antique shop. And these woods are used from old building which was in our neighbor place we just randomly took them and made a mirror and i consider it as not a prop but selfie mirror for my colleagues and clients and they have fun while taking pictures and smilga also loves it and uh, next we have this um, amazingly weird wall which I kind of like and enjoy but my colleague said that it's it's not normal and it's weird like uh, and uh, we just made it from a thing which is like foam and you make buildings warmer with it I don't know the name but uh, from far away it looks like crashed buildings so I really enjoy and sometimes we put the bed here or some sofa or some other stuff and we really use it quite often. And next we have this chaise longue uh, which I'm so proud because we made by ourselves. It's not perfect but in pictures you cannot see the small bad details and we for this we actually needed just old mattress from some old sofa or bed, I don't know. And then uh, exactly four long uh, wooden pieces from our local shop. This is small part which recently was black, but I decided it collects too much light in it, so I made it white. And we have some chairs, as I said, I love chairs. and. Uh, here we have another part, which is gray part, and I call it gray part when I communicate with other people. And we have some settings here. We usually remove this and put it on bed or whatever and use here as a wider space for walking, for models with clothing or stuff. Sometimes you can put bed hair or anything you want actually, because we love that our studio is moving and nothing is a correct set is every time changing so we are enjoying to be creative and invite other people to be creative as well and we don't mind if stuff are walking around so you can come and do whatever and maybe you notice in another white area there was the head of Venus and this is some actually I think it's her body but I'm not sure some lips and I have some squares and cubes like from drawing lessons in academy because I used to have them and I really feel nostalgic about these forms and I think they're really classic but in some modern occasions you can use them not so old-fashioned or something so I have plenty of these yeah so I use them everywhere actually on the side tables as a thing to lean on while posing and on the table as well and once actually we had a photo shoot where we set the table and we didn't know what to do so we put the head of Venus and then some croissants so it was quite fun and interesting setting and 
we just improvise with them so I think it's really great or for some jewelry you can hang on the body and stuff so I encourage people to not be afraid to broke it and use it uh, as you can see we have some not really straight arch here uh, because it was quite a trend like recently like five four years ago and we still have it here now in Lithuania but I think it's going off uh, like uh, pale colors, uh, some concrete and some arches everywhere, round circles and forms. So we decided to make uh, by ourselves. And uh, this was a plain wall, but after we just put some uh, warming foam and we just kind of cut it. So that's why it's not so straight, because we decorated everything by ourselves. But uh, I don't really like everything straight, so I don't mind the factors everywhere. So we use it as a, some interior side, uh, this one. So next we have some bedroom here in the studio, so you can actually sleep here and we use this mostly for family photo shoots and in Christmas everywhere around we have Christmas trees or light bulbs everywhere and I really enjoy that you don't need to sleep on it, actually you can jump on it, you can enjoy with your family and you can pose uh, romantically as well, but mostly we let children to jump on it, so it's really fun for them. And for the bedside, I usually have a few different uh, bed sheets because we like to change time from time and uh, we make it with different mood. Like now it's a palm here, but uh, sometimes you can feel like it's cold here or hot, I don't know. So uh, this bed is really light because we bought it from Ikea and we can move it easily. So we sometimes move it there or there to shoot some uh, natural linen bed sheets and uh, bed textiles. So it's mostly, it's not here actually. We just change it, but this is the right corner and this is a really small area. So we decided to leave the bed here to not take the space from everywhere else. I have one more space which is really messy and it's a secret and I never show it to anybody but you can come so this is our stuff place and here we have a huge mess but I kind of think it's sometimes so interesting so we can see we have some cosmetics here in the shelves and we have some products which we are working on, like some natural stuff, some linen uh, cosmetic bags. And then it connects with our music space, with the vacuum cleaner in the middle. And we have some cubes, some piano, guitars and basses. So here uh, my two operators are rehearsing their stuff. So this is their property. And here I have some props and the closet full of uh, clothes and there I keep all Christmas things. So. so what we do here, uh, firstly we have a studio and we cooperate with another photographers and we share it. So this is my idea to use studio and don't keep it uh, empty and silent. But mostly we work here by ourselves and our basic team is us two and Smilga, uh, the doggo. And also we have third guy who is working kind of with us and we do product stuff and we do people. So basically we split wedding, family and products. 
and we don't work always here. Sometimes we switch sp places and spaces, we do some forest shoots, field shoots, first birthdays and everything. Uh, we love to mix everything and do different stuff and ideas. We also work with companies and they come here to help with the setups uh, because uh, sometimes we do it alone. People just send us things and sometimes they come and cooperate. So usually we do photos, but like 50% it's videography. And sometimes we travel to festivals, concerts and uh, some events. So our days are not boring and we always mix everything. And I think it's quite interesting lifestyle. So if you are a beginner photographer or you always dreamt about your own studio, my advice would be don't be afraid because everything will be okay because I was hesitating maybe too long and too much and after we started everything went just fine and now I think it's just first step and support what you need and after it will just go so don't be afraid. Yeah.